Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Scott, welcome to the channel, and today I'm talking about industry. Not industry as in industry, I'm talking about the TV series. Industry, which is an HBO slash BBC TV series based in the world of finance in the city of London. The series focuses mainly on a group of young graduates who are competing for, this, for a small and limited place at a prestigious investment bank in London called Pierpoint & Co. The series is written and created by Mickey Down and Conrad Kay, who I had never heard of. And I looked them up. They haven't really done much. They've done a few things between them couple of things by themselves, but nothing I'd really heard of. The series consists of eight episodes, each one roughly 45 minutes long, give or take a minute or so. And the series is partly directed by Lena Durham, of which loads of people said that they were excited about her directing some stuff, of which, again, I had never heard of her. I looked her up, she hasn't done much, ever, and what she has done was acting. What I understand, this is her first directing role. So, to start off, I'm going to say, straight out of the gate, that I did not like this series. In fact, I hated this series. Recently, I watched a review for a movie, and the person reviewing the movie said that they didn't like the movie because they didn't like any of the characters in the movie. Of which I thought was a silly reason for disliking the movie. But now I understand. This is exactly why I hate this series. Because all of the characters, not just one or two, every single character in this series is betrayed as an arsehole. They are betrayed as the worst people in the world. Like, worse than murderers and dictators and twats. And I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, I feel like it was a dumb decision because I hated every single person in this series. Because basically, they're all just a bunch of rich kids from Eton and Oxford and Cambridge, etc., who just constantly bitch and moan about how much money they have or how much money they don't have because they're rich and and they just they just take drugs and have sex and backstab each each and every single one of each other bad english that doesn't make any sense they lie and cheat and they backstab everyone and anything just to get that job that they all so desperately want there, there isn't anyone in this series that I thought was interesting or nice. Actually, no, there's one. Um, so Ken Lau, or Lou, or however you pronounce his surname, um, probably best known for playing that guy in Lost. And I think he was also in Rush Hour and Star Wars Episode Seven. maybe? He plays some rebellion general guy or something. Um, and many other things, obviously. Uh, he was the only character, I thought, who wasn't irritating. And it, he's the only person that didn't act like a complete and absolute cockwomble, to be honest. Um, and that, that was because he wasn't. He was just a normal guy who worked in finance. And every other character is just a dick in their own way. Either deliberately being a dick, or they secretly are a dick. There's not really much to spoil in this series. It's just there's a bunch of young guys and girls who just want the same job and they just they'll do anything to get that job except maybe murdering each other, which they don't. I think that would probably make the series a lot more interesting if they killed each other for the job. The acting in this series is fine for the most part. It's um it's just the characters. They're just incredibly dislikable. And, and just not interesting. They just come across as rich arseholes. Uh, speaking of the cast, 
It includes a bunch of people which I can't pronounce the, your names. I'm so sorry, but I'll put them up on the screen. Uh, but the ones that I can pronounce are David Johnson, uh, Will Tudor, Connor McNeil, Ben Lloyd Hughes, Derek Riddell, Mark Dexter, Sarah Parrish, Ken Lau. Uh, a couple of these have been in things. I think Will Tudor was in um, that Channel 4 series, Humans. And uh, one of the guys whose name I can't pronounce uh, was in that series, uh, Informer, from a couple of years ago on the BBC. That was that was a very good series. And obviously Ken Lau is from Lost, etc. Uh, but everyone else is pretty much fine, really. Uh, most of them haven't really been in anything that I've seen or really even heard of, to be honest. Now, delving into the actual series itself, nothing really happens in this series. Again, I think the characters not being likeable at all means that I just didn't care about anything that happened. Um, and anything that did happen was very limited. Again, they work at an investment firm, which isn't particularly the most interesting thing to cover, which is odd considering there's so many dramas that are about investment firms, especially now, like shows like Billions and uh, a couple of others like that, which, again, are much more interesting. They have characters that you can connect with and relate to, and there's funny people and there's not funny people and there's arseholes and all sorts. You, and there's, there's a big variety. In this series, everyone is a dick. Just everyone. All they do in these episodes is they come to work, they get told how privileged they are to work at such a great, fancy, entitled firm, and that's it. They just they sit around, do boring stuff. When they're not at work, all they do is drink, fuck, masturbate, take drugs, talk shit about each other, talk shit about how much money they have, talk shit about how much money they will have, and how expensive their private education was in whatever country they came from, which most of them come from the UK. Again, a bunch of posh twats from Eton, Oxford, Cambridge, etc. Blah. The only good bit in this series is, in fact, there's like two good scenes, of which one of them is, almost, it's a meeting, almost, uh, and I can't remember what happens in it, uh, but there was a scene in maybe the second episode or the third episode, which was about the main character, who, whose name I can't pronounce. Again, I'm so sorry for that. But she was, she was doing some stocks and uh, trading things, of which she made a huge error. Probably a spoiler, but she made a huge error, and she tried to fix it, and then she tried to cover it up. And it was quite tense, and I remember thinking, ooh, this is, this is good. Is this, is this finally going to be the good part of the series? And then it turns out that that was all pointless, because it didn't matter what she did. Which, again, it just adds to the stupid thing. If she had done something bad, and then that was the plot line for the series, she had to keep covering it up or something, that would have been a lot more interesting than what actually happens. Now, just a few random things that I noticed. Um, this series has a lot of swearing in it. At times, it's excessive. I mean, literally every sentence that anyone says at work or not at work is just swear word you this that the other the constantly calling each other the c word the f word the b word the t word the a word etc so overall this series is trying to be billions or the wolf of wall street but without the interesting and compelling characters that make those two things really good uh the realism in the show is good to see but poorly used because of the incredibly boring and unlikable characters and the plot lines which pretty much nothing happens in it's just a really boring slow series full of irritatingly annoying characters and i didn't like it again i'm just gonna say it i hate this series the series does end with the possibility of a second season would i watch another series Probably, but just to see if it gets any better, to be honest. They would have to fix a lot of issues for me to claim it was better. But, anyways, 
That's what I think. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And until next time, bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.